Can you VA around the world? Uh, the fact is, yes. And there is plenty of people already doing it. If you imagine it's it, a minimum pay in the UK is probably about, I don't know, 650 an hour or whatever. Uh, it's going to cost you about £300 a week for somebody, um, which is six £1,200. You're probably looking at £15,000 £15, a year. Now, in the Philippines, I could quite happily live on 6000 Um Well, I used to be able to. I've got quite a high standard of living these days. But the point is, you can do it. And now the other thing is, if you do it in blocks, they do it on process. Um, rather than going 9 till 5, which may not fit your time zone, do it on 40 hours a week or 37 and a half hours, whatever they call it these days. Um, and then all you do is you fit it in round tasks. So if they want you to do 37 and a half hours at X amount rate, then you do it round your hours because you don't want to be up every night. You might do it once a week for meetings and catch-ups. Maybe on a Monday you want to be up in the middle of the night just to go over the stuff you did last week. Um, also outline this week. But try and get it on the days because then you can actually still enjoy life. Um, but the answer is yes, you can virtual assistant around the world. Now, what I would say on this is it's not easy and a lot of it is not suited to everybody, but it is possible. You have to have discipline yourself because nobody's going to be clock watching you. And if you stop doing your work when you're supposed to do it, they will just drop you. It doesn't matter if you've been with a company for years or not. They'll just see it as you're not putting the effort in. So communication is core. You know, you need to keep that communication line open. What I do a lot of the time is I'll email people on birthdays, Christmas, New Year, and all that sort of stuff, as well as just update them on the projects, because sometimes there's gaps in projects. Um, this is why I recommend having more than one client, and that way you're always topping things up, you know, um, but also, don't sell yourself short. Um, as I said earlier, I could do it for 6000 in the Philippines. doesn't mean I would do it for 6000 Um I would try and go for about $12,000. Um, and then they'll go, oh, yeah, but um, I can get Joe to do it for fifteen. I says, yeah, but Joe's got a, a desk, a chair, a rental space, electric, and everything else. It's, he ain't costing you fifteen. It's cost you another 6000 on that easily. And that's how you push it. You know, you just say, look, you've got to be saving money. They say, yeah, but we've got a desk there anyway. It says, yeah, you've also got uh, holiday pay, sick pay. Um, you've got to pay his national insurance stamp. Um, you've got to make contributions for him, even when he's not here. You know, he's got a pension scheme and all this sort of stuff that, you, that I'm not going to be costing you. And some people will see it as undercutting, but other people understand where I'm coming from. It's not undercutting, and normally these jobs have already gone. Uh, they couldn't afford to have somebody doing the administration in the office, but they would love to have somebody doing the administration um, because companies are downsizing. They're downsizing because land is expensive. So they want somebody that is going to be cost effective. So there's opportunity there. It's not, you're not robbing somebody's job. That job went 10 years ago. But they, you'll see a manager sat there with paper stacked up everywhere where you could say, look, I'll deal with that for you. And I'll give you an example with uh, processing and surveying. I did a project recently where the documents, um, you've got surveyors writing the documents. A surveyor costs about £500 a day. So they're sat on a spreadsheet importing that data. Me, I come in, I, it's all on paper. I scan it in and it's gone. Somebody in the Philippines can convert all that data for me and have it back to me. Now, the first thing I want to say is they don't need to be a surveyor because I'm the surveyor. I've wrote everything for them. All they're doing is uh, converting my notes into a spreadsheet. Second thing is, I cost £500 a day. The person in the Philippines, even at £2,000 a month, is still saving the company 
more than three weeks worth of pay to me. So that is just a bit of common sense. And there's lots of stuff you can, you know, this is why I say start now. You'll, you'll see opportunities everywhere um, because there's a lot of stuff that is just not processed correctly. But the point is anybody can do this, but you can get your way around the world by doing this on a daily basis or what let's say I like 37 and a half hour a week because what I might do is do 14 hours on a Monday and then clock the rest of the hours up on the Tuesday and by Wednesday afternoon I finished and if you're doing stuff like um, traveling it fits in quite well that's why you need to pick up what what work you can do and where um, for example with surveying I could do three months solid, seven days a week, and then I could take six months off because in that three months, I've earned enough to sit on my backside. Um, right now, we have enough money in sp for me, my wife, and my kids to sit in Spain for the next year without doing a stitch. Um, it's not what we're going to be doing, but the fact is that's how we, that's how we um, work. We don't go and buy a flash new car. We don't buy... Um, expensive items unless we want it okay I did buy my big monitor but the fact is that monitor is not just a case of oh it's something um, just for show it's actually something I use on a daily basis um, and makes me more practice uh, sorry more uh, productive <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for because I can fit two documents on the same screen which means i can read and write on the same screen you know it's a bit like having that clipboard you know where people put it and they read it and then write with this because it's an extra wide screen i can literally put two to three documents on the same screen um which means i can read and write at the same time speeding up my productivity but also means i don't have to print anything off um yeah so you can va around the world right thanks for watching